Elizabeth O'Neill Howard of Ocracoke describes basket parties and square dances in the village. Amy Glass interviewed Mrs. Howard in 1988 for the Southern Oral History Program. The Outer Banks Community Foundation provided funds to digitize the original recording. You're going to tell us about basket parties. Well, that, the reason I thought of the basket parties because they used to have them at the Ocean Waves when there wasn't a show. You know, they have basket parties and other things parties. I didn't ever go. I was too little. Well, you let's you know, say you, uh, both of you were just young girls, like 18, 19, 20, and I guess you could be 30. But anyway, you would fix a basket, and you would make that basket, and you would trim it with ribbon, and it would be real pretty and have a handle on it. And sometimes, some of the baskets maybe would just have all different fruits, or you would have fried chicken, and... Um, I don't think what else would go in them. Fried chicken and hot rolls. I don't like the best because I really never had one. But uh, you would take it to whatever building was having the show or what it was going to be held. And your boyfriend or anybody that liked you would bid on it. How much am I offered for this basket? And of course, if it was... Uh, <laughs> If she was there and her husband, was, uh, that one, the man that she actually married <laughs> was there, um, he would get on her basket, but maybe somebody else liked her and they'd want to not let him have it. They'd run it out. Or if they wanted to make him, they wanted to make him, make him mad too. They yeah, mad. yeah, and that money, <laughs> that money would go to the church or maybe the school. Yeah, right. I don't, that's how it's what they do, but I know one, I had a girlfriend, I wasn't here that winter, but I was in school upstate, but she stayed here and worked in my daddy's store, and she put, she made chocolate fudge and put it in a box, an O.N.T. cotton box, and that box of fudge went for about $50, didn't it? <laughs> Sullivan and Duck. And Tara, all three bidding on it, they were determined that Sullivan was not going to get it, but he got it. I don't know, it could have been $20 or $30, but it was a lot of money for a little box of fudge. <laughs> so that's how, that's how they were doing it, and they'd have fun, too. But that was, that was, they were happy when they could get out there and bid on, on the box that belonged to her that they didn't want Alton to have or somebody else. You said you went to dances. What kind of dancing did they do? Square dancing. Ocracoke was noted for square dancing. Yeah, right. From my mama's day, not that my mama went, my dad did, <laughs> but um, it was noted for square dancing. People came down in the summer because they loved to square dance. You know, they've got a lot of that in the north now. Huh? They have a lot of square dancing clubs in the north. In the north, uh huh. Yeah. yeah. They Where did in. They hold the dances. Huh? Where would they hold the At either one of the hotels. And they had a, the Captain Bill Gaskell on the end of the point had a dance hall. He had an inn down there. And then after he, uh, years and years after I was grown, they had a one built out on, at the way had village, a little Spanish casino. That's what it was built like, a little, like Spanish architect. And um, then prior to that, they would dance, maybe at Gary Bragg's, another boarding house, or at somebody else's house who would let uh, the lodge. They, used they to don't do that so much anymore. No, they have three-quarter time now. Were there um, local, local boys who played music? <clears throat> do I remember any of them? Yes, I remember the fir first man that I know was Thomas O'Neill. He played the fiddle for the dances down at Bill Gaskell's. Then there was, uh, um, uh, I'm trying to think of his name. They called him, his name was Den Riddle Williams. And he used to play the fiddle and have dances. Were there any, who were the callers? Anybody that knew the, knew the set. My husband used to call the set a lot. And uh, Harvey Way had used to. Mac Williams. Was the music got, 
What do you mean, the the, um, the music or the, or the song? No, I think the, they mostly played by the regular square dance music that you would hear anywhere in the country that you went. They they did square dancing upstate, too, in the, you know, up in the mountain sections and everywhere, I guess, in the country in North Carolina. And I think they would play, um, like, Turkey in the Straw. What, what is that? Under the Double Eagle. Honey, people from Haddleston, they came down here to dance. They had more dances here than any place on the Outer Banks, I'm sure of that. And the people from Washington, in Surrey, wonderful Washington, <laughs> not, not de Surrey. From uh, Washington came over. Come, yeah, they come over on the, on the boats, the bug eyes. They'd have parties on the bug eyes. It was an excursion. They always had plenty of corn liquor with them. <laughs> <laughs>